So in this video, I'd like to go through another example of a contour integral. But this time, I'm actually going to use Cauchy's integral formula, just to show you that there are actually other ways of tackling these kinds of problems without having to use the residue theorem all the time. So I've got this function, e to the w, divided by w cubed, times w cubed minus z cubed of w minus z dw, and I'm asked to integrate this function over the contour C, where C is just a circle modulus of z equals r, so that's a circle sense that the origin of radius r traversed anti-clockwise, and z is just any complex number. So first things first, notice that using the difference of two cubes rule, I can write w cubed minus z cubed in the following way. So I can write w cubed minus z cubed, that's just equal to w minus z, times w squared plus wz plus z squared. Okay, now I'm just going to substitute this into my integral. So what do I get? Well, I'll end up getting 1 over 2 pi i times the integral over my contour c of e to the w over w cubed. Now, if I substitute this into the numerator, I'm just going to get w minus z times w squared plus wz plus z squared, all divided by w minus z. And you'll immediately see that the w minus z's cancel. So what's next? Well, this is just equal to 1 over 2 pi i times the integral over the contour c of e to the w over w cubed times w squared plus wz plus z squared dw. But z is just some complex number, so that means I can actually pull it out of the integral. So if I do that and cancel off any w's, what I get is the following. So this should just be uh, 1 over 2 pi i times the uh, integral over c of e to the w over w, because w squared cancels with w cubed to leave w, dw plus the plus z times the integral over c of e to the w over w squared dw plus z squared times the integral over c e to the w over w cubed dw. Okay, now at this point I could just use the residue theorem because clearly I've got poles of order 1, of order 2, and of order 3, all at the origin, and they all clearly lie inside the circle. But I'm not going to do that, especially as it means I'm going to have to compute all of these red residues individually. So a much quicker way is actually just to use Cauchy's integral formula. So just to make it abundantly clear how I can apply it, I'm going to write my integrals in a slightly different way. So what I'll do is uh, I write it like this. So, okay, this is equal to 1 over 2 pi i times uh, all this stuff. So this is the integral over c of e to the w all over w minus 0 to the 1 power dw plus z times the integral over c of e to the w over w minus 0 or squared dw plus z squared times the integral over c of e to the w over w minus 0 cubed dw. So these two expressions are exactly the same thing because w minus 0 squared is just the same thing as w squared. Now I'm going to let f of w be equal to e to the w. So I'll, I'll let uh, f of w be equal to e to the w. And notice that this function is actually entire. So in other words, it's holomorphic on the whole complex plane. And the point at z equals 0, so that's this point, is also clearly inside my contour. So Cauchy's integral formula says that I'm going to have to use the derivative of this function evaluated at this point. So let's compute these derivatives. So f of w is e to the w. Well, I differentiate the exponential function, I'll just get the same thing back. So obviously, f prime of w is again e to the w, and f double prime of w is e to the w. Okay, I've got to evaluate each of these things at the point z equals, or rather w equals 0. So this is just f of 0, which is 1. Likewise, f prime of 0 is 1, because it's the same function, and f double prime of 0 
equals one. So now I've just got to apply Cauchy's integral formula. So what do I get? Well, so I've got one over two pi i times some stuff. Okay, so let's use Cauchy's integral formula. Well, Cauchy's integral formula says I've got to do two pi i times f of zero divided by zero factorial plus two pi i uh, z times f prime of zero divided by one factorial plus two pi i z squared times f double prime of zero divided by two factorial. So now we just have to compute this stuff. So this is just equal to, well, I can cancel out the two pi i's quite easily. So if I do that first, then all I'm left with is this. So I'm left with f of zero divided by zero factorial plus z times f prime of zero divided by one factorial plus z squared f double prime of zero divided by two factorial. Now I know that f of zero, f prime of zero, and f double prime of zero are all one. And likewise, zero factorial is one, one factorial is one, and two factorial is just two. So this simplifies quite nicely to one plus z plus a half z squared. So that's how we can use Cauchy's integral formula to compute a contour integral without having to resort to the residue theorem. So if you like what you saw, make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe, and make sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter pages in the description box below. So see you next time.